everyone. Welcome to our vlog, A Quiet Life. And if you'll remember, we've been working on our back patio. We tore the old wooden deck off the patio, which was awful because I had painted the wood, which was terrible. That means you have to paint it all the time. It was a mess. And we had like an arborish gazebo type of thing over it. And we took that off. So we finally tore it off. We put Trex decking on, which I love. The only thing is, in the summertime, the track stacking can be hot, so we do have rugs on there. But it is fantastic. So that was project one, was taking the old deck off and putting the new track stacking on. We actually extended the deck. It's bigger than it was before. And it also goes past the house to where we added the door to the half bathroom. I'll explain why for that in just a few minutes. I'm thrilled with how it has all turned out. And we finally got it finished today. Nick put the last plug-ins in. So project one was putting the Trex decking and then we had a door in our mudroom, which is this window now. Nick took the door out and put the window in, which has been so much better. We never used that door. I hated the door and we never used it. So Nick took it out. Let me show you the next project. One of my favorites, absolute favorites, is the new door in the half bath. And I know a lot of people think, why do you have a, ha a door in your half bathroom? Well, our house is not to everybody's liking. It's a little bit different, but it's what we want and what we like. And it functions so well for our house. So I bought this door off Facebook Marketplace for $50. Nick cut a hole in the wall, <laughs> put the door in, and then he recently just made the screen door. It's awesome. Absolutely awesome. I love the screen door. We can lock it from the inside. I don't know if you can see that or not. There you go. Got the light on now. You can lock it from the inside. I love having our doors and windows open. I don't know if you can see it or not, but the air is just flowing through our house. The way our house sits, the air flows through our house into the little room, the kitchen, and into the dining room. It just flows all in the house and I love it. So we go through the screen door and this way we can go out and go to my she shed. Easy access to my she shed. When I'm working in my she shed, I can come in. You know, it's easy to go to the bathroom. But one thing is eventually we want to make our my she shed to where people can sleep in my she shed when they come down. If I'm out of room, they can sleep in the she shed come straight in during the night or early morning, go right into the bathroom if they need to without, you know, disturbing anybody else in the house. So pro that was project one, two, and three. Project four was the roofing. We bought the plastic roofing on Facebook Marketplace. It was a really good deal. Wasn't sure if it was gonna work out too great, but man, it did. Originally, our roofing for the patio it was this board right here and it, it was so short it felt claustrophobic so we devised a way which was great to extend the roof on top of our roof it was wonderful Nick used um, oh my goodness I forgot what it was that he used it's in another video <laughs> and our solar panels are up there but this has been great and the water comes down and it goes into the gutter there so we really don't get much water on the pool unless it's really a really windy, bad rain. So it's just wonderful. I love, I love how the roof turned out. I used a gray stain called Common Gray on it. I just, I can't even tell you how much I love this roof. It's fantastic how Nick worked it out. So then our next project was putting in new sliding doors. So we got in the new patio sliding doors, which is great because they slide so easy, we're still not adjusted to it. And then the next one was putting in a new door in our bathroom. Yes, I know, not many people have a laptop in the bathroom, but we do. Just ignore whatever vinyl siding mishaps you see because we ran out of vinyl siding and we had to find vinyl siding that matched ours. Then we had to match paint 
with the vinyl siding and paint the vinyl siding so it's not perfect in some places but in this one we have this big board but a, we're going to reside in our house with a bead uh, board and batten siding in a few years so we said this will do for now this will do great for now for that later project of course there's our well house our well is in there our pool and the deck and the chicken coop clothesline privacy fence so we changed out the window that was the last project and then was the electrical nick put in three plug-ins one two three so in the summertime we can put a fan out if we want i can hang up lights if i want to do that just anything like that it's just it's wonderful it really is wonderful i'm just so pleased with how everything turned out the new window the curtains i extended the curtain rods a little bit um, just made them a little bit longer. Something that I like more. Yeah, I've got two sets of curtains on there because we close them at night. Um, we don't you know, really need them to be open at night. Got my new window in here. It's opened up. So easy to open. The other one was not as easy to, op to open up. And it's just great. So I'm super pleased with how the patio turned out. Nick has worked real hard. Johnny helped us a lot with the patio. And it's, it's just been, I'm so pleased with it. Nick is up there repairing the repairs on this building where we cleaned it out last week. There is the round table and covering. <laughs> That's another thing Nick did. He took PVC pipe attached it to a gutter guard. <laughs> you can see it, the gutter guard up there. It does move, which is okay. You know, it's all, it's still hanging in there. It's in our table. And then he fixed it under, if you can see it underneath there. So it's just perfect. It was an easy fix for a covering. It's not waterproof, so the water does come through, which is, we are okay with, because we don't want it to hold water. And the table just looks great. So we've ate out here a few times since then. And when all of our kids are here and families, then we have plenty of room. So yeah, he's up there getting the repairs done on the side of his building. So what's our next project? Next year, we're going to put a greenhouse right here. Just a little greenhouse made out of windows. I'm sorry, this is not going too well. I'm cleaning the pool out, the pump. So, yeah, we're going to, the sink will be included in the greenhouse. So we'll just bring the greenhouse out right here. That's next year. And another thing is Nick wants an outdoor shower. So we're actually i think going to put the outdoor shower right here in this spot right here and we're going to use trex decking on it also so that's something for next spring we've just got a couple other things to do under our house and um add some insulation and just a couple other things but the big big projects are done inside and out I'm so thankful. We worked really hard for the last three years to get everything done. Everything from the well house to we've got a new roof. Um, my she shed things fixed up on it. New ceilings in the house. New floors in the house. The bathrooms have been updated. The toilets have been all that's it's just been a big job. But we're done. <laughs> so thanks a lot for hanging with us and. Uh, Hope you're blessed by this and hope you enjoy seeing our new patio that we absolutely, absolutely love. And I'd like to just thank Nick because he's really worked hard. <laughs>